I started applying to ESPN when I was a freshman in college. You know, I knew I wasn't going to get, you know, if I got anything, it wasn't going to be until I was a junior at least. But, you know, I was trying to make things happen before I even, you know, got to my sophomore years. There's no way a kid from Dunlap should have a job off from ESPN at 21 years old, so. <laughs> I got a call and I wasn't really expecting anything like an offer or anything like that. I was expecting to see, he's supposed to tell me about these opportunities. He called me and said, hey, you can start right now in August and not have to go through an interview process. Um, and I was like, well, we'll take that deal and uh, cut and run right now. My reaction, I was just so excited. My family's excited, you know, because it's, my parents were like, yes, you got a job, you got a job. It's even more exciting now because it's a job instead of just an internship. So, you know, kind of got a future with us. And it's not surprising to me at all that uh, that the biggest sports agency in, uh, in the U.S. would take a chance on somebody like him because it's not a chance at all. He loves sports and, and it shows and he also understands that it's not really about sports. I mean when you when you cover sports it's way beyond who wins and who loses and some of his work reflect, reflects that and I, I think that's quite incredible. I think it's the only um, story that we've ever had that, uh, from the Echo that has won uh, Best in Show at the AP Award uh, and it's, a, it's an amazing piece. I'll just read the, the first paragraph here. It, uh, it says, on Friday evening in November, Kyle Cates, a student at the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, settles into a rocking chair on the corner of a wraparound porch that surrounds his family home. Staring off into the forest that engulfs the dwelling, he reminisces about what used to be the pinnacle of his life, the game of football. I read that and I, I don't have to be there. I know th how that looks. I, I get a feeling on, that Chandler has painted the picture and put it in front of me that not only do I know where this guy lives, I know what he's looking at, I know how he's feeling, I know what was important to him. And I think that's an amazing collection of words. Getting that all together and seeing that idea come to fruition was very rewarding. Before, you know, not even with the awards or anything like that, but just rewarding in itself because I got to tell a story and go in depth. And it, it was almost like a magazine article as long as it was. So it, it felt good to kind of, I felt like I was writing for Sports Illustrated or something like that. Um, but yeah, it was very rewarding when it all came together. Everybody has a story. Uh, it, one of the things you, you look at when you when you read Chandler's or when you listen to him talk, it carries you somewhere, takes you from place to place, and uh, I greatly appreciate that. And I, I wish we would see more of that. Yeah, I mean, mocks fly together, right? I mean, I hope that everybody comes in. And I think that's what every student should be doing anywhere, regardless of where they go to school or, or what they want to do.